don't mind my shirt. This was a shirt that fit me back when I was 50 pounds heavier, so it tends to be a little loose on me. <laughs> but anyway, welcome back to the Star Wars Expanded Universe. Now dubbed by Disney, or current Lucasfilm, however you want to see it. Legends. So today for you, we have something a bit different. Because um, today is not a novel, is not a comic of Legends, but a video game. Now there is um, book versions of this story, I believe. However, you would... Uh, you can't... I, don't think there's a digital copy I can get, so I'd have to get a physical copy. I just want to get straight into it. Now, there's a lot of stuff that is just kind of like, here's what's going on. You know, kind of like episode four, where it's like, here's an empire. Uh, here's this and this. Go with it. It doesn't really go into detail, like if you're reading a novel or a comic. Now, there's a lot of info on all of these characters that is not within here. I had to Wikipedia it. So I will leave a link to Kyle Katarn's Kyle biography, and then you can branch off from there, because they'll have names and stuff for when you're confused. But before I actually talk about um, Jedi Knight, Dark Forces 2, because I can't really talk about it, and I didn't make a video on Dark Forces 1, because there's nothing really to talk about. Here's the gist of what happened in the Dark Forces video game. There's multiple missions within Dark Forces, and the first mission is actually the Rogue One movie, basically. Except it is one man, Kyle Katarn, um, who used to be um, a stormtrooper, just like Finn. That was one of the things I defended about the Star Wars pre or sorry, sorry, Star Wars sequels was Finn, because I said at the very least he's unique to have a stormtrooper turned good. But it turns out I was wrong, because it's not unique. It was done already. Um, again, you can look into that to yourself. I'll have a link in the description. But he's done it. He was a stormtrooper, then he became a mercenary for a really long time, which is what he is in this, uh, in Dark Forces. Um, and then he later on became a Jedi, and he'll be in the books, at least as a background character. I don't know how big a role he plays, but he has a bunch of video games surrounding him. So, basically he steals the Death Star plans for the Rebellion because they pay him well, and he does it. And then after that, it, uh, the rest of the missions in Dark Forces take place after Episode 4, um, but before... Episode 6. It could take place... I think it's before 5, though. Um, not sure. But, basically, um, there's, a, there's a, a section of the Empire that was trying to create these um, super soldier, basically, uh, stormtroopers. Um, think uh, Frank Holgan, or whatever his name is, from... Uh, uh, Fallout 2. And if you don't know that, you can you can Google Fallout 2. Um, but basically, they were just like really beefy, uh, super strong stormtroopers. And he took them out. Uh, and then there was also like a subplot where he got uh, yelled at by Jabba. And that was a whole thing in Nar Shadda. So that was fun. But anyway. That's the previous game. This is this game. Jedi Knight. Dark Forces 2. I actually wrote more notes than I thought I would because this was a, a time when video game stories weren't really important. It was more about the gameplay. I mean, gameplay should always be the most important, I feel, because this is video games. It's the difference between a movie or a book because you can actually interact. You can actually participate in what, you're, what you see. But I do think a video game story should... I mean, it depends on the game, but a video game story should be important because it, 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 it will drive the player to care, to want to continue on. But anyway, um, I'm not going to get into gameplay or anything like that because that's not the type of reviews I do. I'm only talking about the story. I'm just saying, for what little there was, I'm surprised with the amount of notes I took. So this does take place after Episode 6. 
after the uh, emperor has been defeated. Now, again, there's a lot of info that we're kind of missing from this. We get the bare bones. If you want to go in depth into these characters because you're confused, um, assuming you play it, if, if you play it yourself or watch like a Let's Play, or also in my playlist of uh, all my Legends reviews, I will have a video. I will have a video in there that's um just the cutscenes of the of the um game for those of you who are not gamers and don't want to play a video game. Although if you are a gamer and you have a PC and you have Steam, you can get the game for literally like five bucks. It's worth your time. But anyway, it still does not explain a lot of things, and that's there's a lot of stuff that you'd have to look up online about or read the book. So. If you're confused, then there's a link in the description for that. Uh, the first note I took was Dark Jedi, not Sith. They are not Sith. Emperor Palpatine was a Sith Lord. Uh, Darth Vader was a Sith. But these guys aren't Sith. They're just Dark Jedi. They're just Jedi using um, the dark side. And they seek the Valley of the Jedi. Um, and their leader is Jarek, who there's a lot of information about him. They're also apparently Inquisitors, which is interesting, but they don't really ex talk about that in the in the game. My next note is Jan's back. Jan, Jan's, Jan Ors, or whatever her name is. Um, she was the pilot in Dark Forces 1, and she'd... Um, she she's just this pilot. She basically took him to every mission. Uh, also, with these games, you don't need to have really even know that much about the EU. It, they're pretty relatively self-contained. Um, but I've had my own way of fitting these games in between the the um, the books and stuff. You'll see as I continue onward. Like I'll be doing Jedi Outcast um, after uh, the Jedi Academy trilogy and whatnot. But anyway, <laughs> my next note is the Twi'lek, um, is the Twi'lek on drugs? Because <laughs> this, the, the Twi'lek that's working with the Dark Jedi and is, uh, is a Dark Jedi himself is him and Jarek are having the most fun in this entire game because the, if you don't know, with this game, you have live, ac there's live action cutscenes. Um, it's, it, it is a testament though, because even though it's cheesy, it really does feel like a low budget Star Wars film whenever the, uh, like a very, very low budget Star Wars film, whenever, um, the characters come on and it, it does feel like Star Wars. And, um, I just love how much fun that those two had because they were insane. It was great. Um, and again, I am going to be spoiling this. I mean, there's not much to it and, uh, you know, if you care enough, then you should watch in my playlists the uh, all the cutscenes or play the game yourself. But um, but they get a a lightsaber and a map. Uh, Kyle go goes back home to to get a to find a lightsaber and a map that his father left for him. And I've my next note. I even said that the actor for Jarek is so fun and having so much fun in all of his line delivery and stuff. So Kyle Katarn's going on and on, you know, it's a video game level, level, level. And the first boss fight of the game is you go up against this kid named Yoon, who's a dark Jedi, like one of their newest members. Like basically a Padawan for the dark side. Um, and so you have to go fight him. Um, Kyle does not kill him though. He lets him go. Also, that's another thing that the game shows, but doesn't explicitly like explain or really get in, in depth about, but Kyle is a real struggler with dark side and light side. He wants to be light. He has trouble containing the dark side. 
So that's it's a whole thing where like sometimes he'll kill the bosses and sometimes he'll let them go. And it just uh, all depends. And again, more levels, more levels, because most of this game is gameplay and not cutscenes. Which some people might argue is a good thing, but um, I think there's a way to balance that out to make it. Anyway, <laughs> we're not talking about video games here, we're just talking about the story of Jedi Knight Dark Forces 2. So the next boss fight we get to is Gork and Pick. Gork and Pick are really cool, I think. Now, the gameplay isn't canon because you can. There's a lot of things that can happen while you're playing the game. The only thing that's canon is what the um, cutscenes particularly show. Oh, canon, legends, canon. But you have Gork. I think Gork is the big brawny one with the big giant lightsaber, and he fights in his own sort of way. And then you have Pick, who's a lot smaller and leaps and jumps around like Yoda. Isn't Yoda's race, though, but he's a little dude like that. And he jumps around, flips around, does, you know, weird things. And the idea is that they'd be working together, having completely different fighting styles, but yet being in unison together to fight against you. And that's what you got to take on. Of course, in the game, though, you can kind of make it so you fight them one-on-one -on -one and it kind of defeats the purpose. But let's just assume that they're both fighting you together as like a, as like a duo. Um, it's, it's a really cool concept and I really like it. Um, but they killed the robot that, uh, oh my gosh, how did I not mention this? So in the beginning of the game, basically, you're talking to this robot trying to get this thing because your, your dad just died. Um, but the robot kept getting away and all these missions are going on. So you finally get to the robot, but he's dead because uh, Gork and Pick killed him and took the, the stuff that Kyle needs. Of course... Kyle is um, successful and kills uh, Gork and Pick, and he acquires the map to the Valley of the Jedi. At first, I thought we were going to Korriban, but then I was like, well, it wouldn't be Valley of the Jedi then, because that was like the home of the Sith. But, so I was wrong on that aspect. <laughs> My next note is Ma skipped the Darth Maul way, um, because... Ma earlier uh, got his legs got cut off. But instead of having robot legs, oh no, he just uses the force to prop himself up to levitate so he continue to fight. So he's just like a torso with arms attacking you. It's, <laughs> it's actually pretty cool. But he too meets his demise. Um, and the next, Kyle finally m makes it to, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. So no, then we get to a point in the game where Jarek, he just defeated Ma, and Jarek's like, good, uh, hey, we just captured your friend here. It's kind of weird. I don't I don't know how well that actually works, but, like, if you were playing Dark Side, then you'd be able to do it. But the idea is that, um, Jarek wants you to strike down your friend, so that way you can join the Dark Side. And, of course, the, you know, the canon ways, he says, no, nah, no, nah, I ain't doing that. And so he gets, um, like, force pushed into the, sh the ship. That starts descending, and it's a that's actually a really cool level where you have to escape the ship before it makes impact or something and explodes. So and you gotta get on your ship. But he eventually catches up to them, and we have the I didn't write her name, did I? Well, we have the female um, dark Jedi that you have to fight, but before you fight her. Uh, she goes to, because the Twi'lek thing, Bok is his name, the Twi'lek, to mock you, breaks your lightsaber, the green one that you've had for the whole game. And so the female is just going to go and strike you down. But Yoon, the youngest, newest member that you let live, blocks the lightsaber. And so she stabs him or whatever. And he's like, why would you do that? And it's all cheesy and stuff. He's like, 
He's like, he's a Jedi. He deserves a fight. So you take you and his lightsaber, which is like yellow, and then you fight her and you win. And then, um, oh, sorry, her name is her. Her name was Saris. Well, Saris is dead now. Um, so then we move on. This is my last note, but then I'll say something after that, uh, just because I kind of stopped taking notes after that. I'm still surprised this video is 15 minutes, considering how little there is to talk about. I'm surprised I got this far in, but um, <laughs> my last note is just Bach is something else. The, tw the Twilight, he is absolutely crazy, and that actor is having so much fun. He just, he looks disgusting, because, you know, all Twilights have different skin colors, like blue, green, uh, red. There's different colors for Twilight, but this one is just like, just like, I don't know, he's like pale and fleshy and gross and he's like <laughs> like all the time like it's it's gross and he uses two lightsabers and it was actually really cool because they were purple and you don't usually see purple lightsabers that often but anyway and he also does like a big like he flips around like yoda in the cutscenes but or not in the cutscenes but in the in the in the gameplay but of course you go to save jan um but first you gotta fight bach because he's uh, trying to kill you. So you finally defeat him. You save Jan. But you still got to stop Jarek. So you finally get to Jarek. Um, and you defeat him. Pretty simple. And then... Um, happy ending. Uh, Kyle carves a statue of his father. And he just says thank you. And then the game ends. Woohoo, happy ending. Again, there's a lot of details we're missing on the bad guys that we're, we're just told that there are these dark jedi trying to do this evil thing and we're never told why and where they came from and how, how they came to start doing this like we don't learn that stuff because that stuff's not important to the plot because the video game doesn't care about the plot that much either they they just want to get right into the point which is uh, it's a little frustrating because if it was a game made today you would have that fleshed out in the game and still be able to enjoy the gameplay and have the game as well. Um, overall, it was fun. Definitely isn't one of the deepest uh, plots we've had, but I, I didn't expect it to be because this is a game that what came out in the 90s. I didn't expect it to be anything special. But it did, you know, give us more Kyle Katarn, and as he will become a character that we meet, uh, he, like, he'll... He's a character that we'll see during the New Jedi Order series. So he is a relatively... Even if he's a minor side character, he's still a relatively important figure. Especially since we, we have games that are dedicated to just him. So next time we see him will be Jedi Outcast, but we're not there yet. Actually, that's not true. It'll be Jedi Knight Mysteries of the Sith, which we actually have uh, Mara Jade there as well. But we're not doing that yet. Um, up next is the courtship of Princess Leia, where hopefully Han and Leia will finally tie the knot and Warlord Zinji can die. Because I hate him. He's so boring. But anyway, again, if you would like more details on these characters and you don't play video games and you don't want to read a book about a video game character, I have the full cutscenes. Uh, in the playlist for my Star Wars Legends reviews. And in the description, I have a link to Wikipedia about Kyle Katarn. So you can learn all about him. Uh, though, maybe not go past the stuff that we just talked about here. Because it will go into stuff um, dealing with the Yusong Vong War. And it will go into stuff about uh, Jedi Outcasts. And stuff that we have yet to discuss together. So, I would focus on just the parts that we've talked about. Maybe learn more about Jarek. Um and uh, the Inquisitors and all that, and get a better picture, so you can understand that better. Maybe do that before you watch the cutscenes, if you care. Otherwise, I'll see you next time when we read The Courtship of Princess Leia and discuss uh, how I feel about that one. And um, thank you again for just joining me during this expanding universe. I know this one was a bit different, a bit weird, because it's a video game, but, um, you know, just thought I'd do it. Funsies. Um with, with the way the world is right now, everything going on, you need a galaxy far, far away to keep your mind off of troubles. So, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Sharing helps out a ton. And I will see you in the next video. Till next time.